Oh, yes. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Woo! Okay, let's do this. Hey Charlotte, I hope you enjoy my Let's Play. I'm having to record over the video after the fact since the microphone quality on the PS4 was so bad. So let's hope this goes better. So, when did I? There we go. Put in your name. Make you female. And he will be a noble scion. Because I've decided that's how I want to play you. A respectable line with faith in your pedigree. There's you. And uh, there's me. There's Mintra. And Mintra's friend's Kathleen, but we won't pay attention to her. Charlotte. How shall I make your physique? I think we'll go with small head. All right, let's do this. I guess I could edit out the loading screens. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing creepily will be a theme in this game. Don't worry, he's a friend. I like. <laughs> These guys, though. There, your friend. I promise. <laughs> I, uh... I promise. We'll get out of your face soon. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Those ghosties are other people currently playing, or people that were playing when I recorded this. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. So I'll try to walk around as if you were playing this for the first time, exploring a few bits. <laughs> sure, why not? first taste of combat. All right, let's do this.
Mm. So if you do a charged attack to the butt, they get stunned, and then you can do one of those gross pull their insides out attacks. Charming, I know. Again, this game is not as bloody as you think it is. <laughs> I'm lying through my teeth. And as you can see, there's no shield in this game, so you have to block everything with a gun. Which is fine by me. That's just a reminder to those who forget that you can do co-op in this game. Although your character cannot currently do that. Not yet. Alright, this guy was a dick. I thought I'd try to be clever and take him out quickly. And as the next few minutes will show you. I wasn't uh, as deft as I was with the werewolf. I'm trying to do the charged attack on his butt that I showed you earlier. When you get hurt in this game, your health doesn't immediately drop. You can actually attack the enemy right after and gain some of the health back. So that's what I keep trying to do. Oh. Yep. So I swear, I was trying to be clever here. Don't know what happened. <laughs> I was just going to attack him as he got up the ladder, but I guess I'll jump off. Didn't die, so... <laughs> Alright, one more clever... That didn't work. Jeez. <laughs> nope, not gonna work. Let's just go. Come on. I just decided it's time to go. I'm sure you're thankful that I stopped. For new players, you're actually supposed to die back at that werewolf. But I, I wanted to be a little fancier. You can use these lamps to teleport back to the Hunter's Dream, which is your safe place. Such a lovely place. It's only a model. the doll, which I don't actually wake up during this video. If you feel like watching more, I can show you what she does later. I picked the cane because you're a skill-based character and it that weapon does better with the skill stat. And I wanted the pistol this time around instead of the shotgun. chain becomes a whip, which is nice for corralling a lot of enemies at once. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am... 
Gehrman. Friend to you, Hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what Hunters do. You'll get used to it. Indeed. Can't upgrade anything yet, so let's just be on our way. Hello, Mintra. Mintra says hello. Say hello! No. No, you're not. Alright, we're back. Let's go kick ass and take some names. Much better. There's some dudes hanging out over here. Taking a rest. There you are. So yeah, each weapon has its own move set in different modes. So it's important to pick one you like, but they're all viable. You can use them all till the end of the game. Oh, you must be a hunter, and not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, Hello. a fellow outsider. Hi, Gilbert. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. It certainly does. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to. Oh, please don't stand. But I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Yes, I figured Whatever that. your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. <laughs> don't know what that means, so we'll just keep going. Pardon me, I'm about to cough. Hmm, <coughs> yes. I also got some people down there. wonder where they're going. Hopefully we won't run into them. Oh, well. There we go. Beat him with my cane. The old cane, I'm sorry. Pop! Oh, we're already down here. Okay. See, the whip's handy for multiple dudes at once. So they don't keep getting hit. You plague ridden rat! This town's cursed. This town's finished. This town's finished. Another big thing about this game is shortcuts. So. Usually, once you, uh, you go a little ways into an area and you find a way that you can loop back around quickly. Here's the first one. There's the ladder. And here was me being all foolhardy. Like, yeah, I could take this guy on at level one. Let's see how well I do. Obviously, I did. Excellent. You died! So anyway, once you die, you show back up at the last lantern you rested at. And uh, 
You have one chance to go back and get your dropped blood. So I'm going to go do that. Good thing I un unlocked that shortcut. Hello, Aster. What do you want? There it is on the ground. Uh, there's the possibility that an enemy will pick it up, and you'll know because their eyes are glowing bright blue, and you'll have to kill them to get the your blood back if you want. You buy everything with blood echoes. You level up, you buy items. Everything costs that currency up on the upper right. The zero under that is insight, which you gain by seeing strange things. And it alters the world when you have a highest enough number. Basically, you have insight into what's happening, and you start to see things you didn't see before, for better or for worse. That lantern is there, so that means I can knock on the store. Are you that outsider? Maybe. Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Oh, all right. Trot along, will ya? Okay. That was rude. It's a very merry place, Yarnum. Well, let's try out the store. Lads, you've come on. Oh. You'd open a door on a night of hunt. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what are you with you? Now. All right, okay. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Oh, resting, are we? You know how I want to hear accents? I start using that accent. This game is one of those games. Although The Witcher 3 definitely makes me uh, use a lot more accent than this one. As Mitra will tell you. Through tears. Oh! Hey! Excuse me. What are they doing over there? Having a barbecue? Oh, they've crucified a werewolf. And burned it. That's cool. I'll just, uh... Let them keep doing that. You'll notice in the upper left, you have a health bar and a stamina bar. And every action you do, running, dodging, attacking, uses up stamina. So if you ever see me attacking and then I just suddenly stop for some reason and get hit, it's probably because I ran a stamina. <laughs> I can't remember if I can pick up this item through the wall. Probably not. Nope. Oh, okay. Let's see, I think I saw some dudes walk to the left, so I'm gonna go take them out. Because they do eventually double back on me. good. I guess I could be more interesting. Sorry, if I was recording this as I was playing, I'd probably have a little bit better reaction. Sorry, I could speak better English too, maybe. I don't know. It's not like we're gonna do multiple takes of this, right? <laughs> you better off dead, you dick! Another thing about this game is 
uh, every button press, once you press like the attack button, you commit to that animation. There's no like dodging in the middle of it. So if you make a mistake, you have to live with that mistake. Unlike other games that are a little bit more free. But you do feel really good once you've mastered it and like you defeat a boss under those two conditions, you know? At least I do. Mm, cold blood view. I hate these dudes. Uh. <laughs> I stepped on him. Oh, a dog. Let's see. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. oh, that's right. Don't worry, buddy. We'll come get you. I also really like the level design. It's not just a whole bunch of rooms strung together. Like it kind of feels like a real town in a real world. I'll did a very a very cluttered one. Crows. That's what a gun is for. Sweet. Did it say to pick up a torch? Yeah. Let's put that torch on. There we go. Ooh, dynamic lighting. Put that away. Still burning in my pocket. Ready for use at any time. Music box is playing over here. Can't get to it now. Come, doggy. Gaming at its finest, right there. 10 out of 10. I really hope my mumblings can be heard. I've had kind of a gravelly voice all day, a frog in my throat, if you will. Apparently, they say bug in your throat in Japan. When I taught one of my teachers frog in your throat, they thought that was much cuter. <laughs> when you dodge, you have like two or three frames of invincibility, so you can technically dodge through attacks and dodge through enemies. But if you do what I did and dodge way too early, <clears throat> you just end up dodging into an attack. It's great. <clears throat> I always check the wrong side of this bridge. On the other side, there's a bloodstone. Yeah. All right. There's some dicks up here. Let's take care of them. <laughs> yeah. 
this. These guys are a pain. They have a lot of health, as you can see. Start to panic. There's two of them around. Yeah. Push. Yeah. Oh, I got it, but I didn't go up and take it. You hear that little cutting noise when it works. Thank you, thank you. Those emotes are really for when you're cooperating with people, but you know. Why not use them? You notice there was more down that bridge, but... I'm not at the level I want to be to go down there yet. So I'm gonna go rampage through this house. all that particle physics. This is 2015, man. That was good. This torch came in handy in here. Now, before you say, why did you attack that guy in a wheelchair? Notice he has a giant gun. Or a fire hose, but I think it's a gun. Anyway, I'll show you how dark it is without a torch. So I'm glad I had one. And now I'm about to unlock the second shortcut, so make make it a lot easier when I have to come back through here. I did that on accident. The emotes are also tied to motion on your controller, so occasionally you randomly do one, which isn't great. Might recognize where we are. So now, next time we come through, we won't have to go all the way around. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Goodbye.